Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, where we're doing a fun thing because I felt like it and because it's too humid for me to muster sufficient brain power to do anything else. But as you've probably already guessed from the craft that are on screen right now, uh, this is a battle video. So we've got um, uh, the Star Song Mark II over here, uh, my baby, my favorite uh, battleship at the moment. Uh, which probably needs some upgrades, now I think about it. And we've got um, my most recent favorite canoe. And the lag is caused by the fact that these are two big girls and they're in close proximity to each other. Um, which is basically one of my bootleg uh, white flare craft, which is pretty good imitation of white flare design, if I do say myself. A lot of people have said that. And could even be submitted to be um, a faction craft here in Nitor. I particularly like the Azapod design on the back amongst other things but yeah so um, a suggestion on when was it I think it was the last uh, the last video uploaded or the last um, campaign video uploaded because by the way uh, the Cathar has not gotten much screen time so far she's pops up like in the second part slash finale of my uh, Steel Inquisition playthrough which is only two videos so you have no excuse not to go watch both of them so go do, go do that she does very well in it she doesn't actually manage to fight anything in her weight class, which is why we're doing that right now. And so I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'd go, uh, I thought we'd hop into the custom battle um, thingy me bob, whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go do that, and I will see you there once I've got everything set up. Okay, so here we are in the custom battle uh, simulator, I guess you could call it. I forget what it's actually called. So, here we've got uh, the, the setup we're using, we've got uh, the opposing team spawn 1,500 meters apart, which is a nice medium range, and we've got some metric materials and about 500,000 materials per team, because both ships are quite resource hungry, and yeah, the setup over here is usually the same, team 1 is the Star Slung, team 2 is the Cathar, and um, the Cathar is actually quite a bit more expensive than the Star Slung, and that's mostly because she's got more missiles and she's got huge torpedoes, which are very expensive. And uh, she's also wider, although the Star Slung is longer. It's interesting. And the rules, we're using minimal amounts of rules. All these individual rule settings are a little bit weird, so uh, don't use... I'm not using that. They despawn at 55% health below. Uh, they despawn 80% sinking, and they sustain for 100 seconds if they get repaired by repair tentacles, which neither of them have, so it's okay. I've also set a time limit because these two are big ships, and um, I don't want the video to drag on too long because we're doing best of three. So, uh, basically we're going to have 10 minutes of fighting uh, per round, uh, kind of tournament style, and the winner will be but the one with the highest health, basically. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be it, and here we go, we're going to hit start, and we're going to see here. Uh, if the custom battle simulator is actually kind of good. And these are big, big damn ships, so... Actually, interesting, the Star Slung does, um... Let's see here. So here's the Cathar. Uh, yes, yeah, she's got a big pancake tower. I think a big weakness of the Cathar is the reliance on this big fat turret here, so... It's got decent armor around it, but uh, not a lot of redundancy. Uh, the Star Slung... Eh, the Star Slung's got decent armor all around, but... Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I honestly do not know which one of these things is going to win, so... We'll have to see. We'll also hope that they're not lagging each other to pieces. And one uh, thing to definitely note... Uh, let's follow the Star Slung for the most part. Uh, to note about uh, the Cathar is that uh, she prioritizes targets that are under the water, and that is deliberately something um, uh, to counter lamb system. So, yeah, like the the lambs on the Star Sun isn't incredibly good, but um, oh, and there's those huge torpedoes. Those huge penetrators, uh, they do a lot of damage. So far, the Cathar seems to be winning. Uh, those crams do hurt like hell. Also, the missiles aren't really doing a hell of a lot. Thankfully, rubber bow is a thing. Oh, wow, they're gonna collide. They are going to collide. Oh, no, guys. Oh, 
Oh boy. Wow. Wasn't expecting this. Yeah, so far, it looks like yeah, the Cathars in the lead. So it depends entirely on whether her main turret actually survives like this. It looks like both of these. Uh oh, never mind. Alrighty. Oh, hello! Oh, close range, the Star Sign definitely has the advantage because uh, cram cannons. And also, um, there's a limit to uh, how, like, if you get really close to the Cathar, either from the front or the back, um, she can't aim through herself, so that is a bit of a problem. These two are being very evenly matched at the moment. Uh, the, the huge torpedoes on the Cathar are definitely gonna... They're a fight winner. Oh boy, there's a... Oh, yep, that looks like... Yep, there goes the main gun. There goes the main cannon uh, on the on the Cathar. There it goes. It's just the cram's coming at exactly the right angle to... Uh, to uh, destroy that turret. Yeah, for just... Oh, clever style song. She got behind... She got behind the thing. Also, I just remembered the Star Sling has large interceptors, so that really would help uh, to deal with this absolute swarm of uh, large missiles that the Cathar has in front here. Although, uh oh, looks like, yeah, the Star Sling just lost a huge amount of health. Yeah, that's uh, its APS, um, its main APS gun, also just got wrecked. Yep. I uh, wonder what that was. That might have been... What was that? That might have been a torpedo. Or a missile. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, worse than that. Wow, she just lost... Deacon's hell, what happened? Wow, she lost two turrets at once. That's a problem. Wow, it's like... All at once. All at once. Um... Looks like uh, this fight just got a lot more even. Well, good thing I set a time limit for this, otherwise this will take a really long time. I think the Cathar is going to take it just because of those torpedoes. Also worth mentioning, the Cathar does not have smoke defense, so... Uh, that's, uh, that's a problem for it, even though the uh, Star Song's lasers aren't that strong. But my goodness. The Cathar is definitely going to run out of materials first, though. Um, assuming that can happen in the next 10 minutes, probably won't. Although the Star Song might have some problems aiming, so... I wish there was a way to tell how far away these things were from each other. Um, yeah, that's an issue. The Cathar might take this just through missile spam. Yeah, these things are very evenly matched, like... Um, Let's just check here, 91%, uh, 87%, okay. Yeah, that's rounding up. Now they're sitting at really long range, Star Slung needs to close in because I think the she's too far away for the crams um, to fire. This long range, though, the um, the Star Slung could get multiple volleys off on the huge torpedoes on the Cathar, so that's helpful defensively, but not so much offensively. So it looks like the Star Slung is peeling off blocks a little bit faster than the Cathar is, simply because of that laser. Let's see here, is this going to be good shot? Nope, we're too far away. Crams aren't quite in good range yet. Though that laser is going to start peeling off, um, is going to start frying those pa those particle cannons um, decently soon. So let's see. This really depends on whether the the Star Slung can get close and maintain the close distance to let the crams do the work. 
Looks like she's managing it. Almost. The Cathar does have a fair amount of repair boss though. Oh, hello. Well, oh, the Cathar is burning through materials so quickly. She's doing it so far. She's got horribly inefficient uh, engines. She's just got huge banks of injector engines. And it might be a better idea to replace them with steam. To lower block count, if nothing else. Uh, but, um, yeah, as of right now, horribly inefficient. Horribly inefficient. Yeah, those crams. Um, don't underestimate those crams. We gotta see if these if these torpedoes are gonna get through, though. Oh, there's vast swathe of counter torpedoes just whiffing horribly. They're not uh, they're not heading for the right thing. They got distracted. Oh boy. Oh, that's bad. Although then the the recent update that makes it so missiles slow down when they get damaged, uh, that does make defending against these things considerably easier because uh, it means that you have more time to destroy them and it means uh, the fact that they also do less damage um, also means uh, that there is a point to, do, to doing damage to them even if you don't manage to destroy them it's uh, super super cool and once again we're out of range uh, for the for the crams but at this rate it looks like um, let's see how much you got you got 360,000 and you got 300,000. This this looks like a, a resource race at the moment. It's just the Cathar is going to run out of materials. She's going to stop firing. And uh, that'll be a problem. Although, it, like I hadn't noticed this before. Oh, never mind. Uh, what are these? These are kinetic, by the looks of it. Oh yeah, both of these both of these craft have pretty darn good um, uh, decoys, and uh, looks like yeah, this jeez the the lot. I remember when the large uh, torpedoes on the Star Song looked impressive, and uh, but just compared to the Cathars' uh, huge torpedoes, that it's like nothing, man. Absolutely nothing. Are these good? Not quite. Not quite. Big weakness of crams. Although I think it was, the, I think it must have been the cram cannons that. Hang on, let's pause for a hot second. Look at the damage in here. Yeah, yeah. Where was it? Yeah, right here. Oh, this was definitely one of those cram shells. Just a few of them just hit in the right spot and just ripped straight through. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wow, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like seven uh, layers of material. Um, actually, eight. Um, well, seven and a half. So two and a half of alloy and then four metal. Got right in here. Got through a yet another layer of metal and just destroyed this. And this is, uh, in case anyone's wondering, this is one of the really good reasons that uh, you should uh, armor your turrets internally because uh, this turret cap is big. A lot of the health of this uh, craft is bound up in it, but it's still attached uh, because that armor ring did survive. And uh, even though the entire gun is destroyed, so this thing is um, staying attached, it's still contributing health even though it's not firing anymore, and that's um, that's it definitely a good thing. So, yep, cram cannon firing again. Let's see, Let's see what's happening. If that thing falls off, though, yeah, this is an issue. Oh, there's a good, there's a decent hit, decent hit. Yeah, this right, uh, what's really gonna uh, sail it is resource uh, efficiency. Because uh, let's see, how fast is the Cathar burning through things? So, one thousand and one, one thousand. She's burning through something like a hundred materials every second or more, and yeah, the Star Song is burning pretty fast, but not as fast. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like, this looks like it's going to be the timer, but uh, if the Cathar can hold on for just another... Yeah, about three minutes or so, like, uh, three minutes and fifteen seconds as of now, uh, I'll consider her uh, the winner. Uh, there's no quick fights between... Oh, those look like good crams, though. 
Uh, they weren't that good. This is one of the advantages of making craft like this, which are so low slung. There's not much of it is actually above the waterline. Means that um, uh, both crams and APS actually have some difficulty hitting it, especially at range. Uh, the bulk of the craft is pretty safe below the water. A good armoring trick. The fact that the Cathar like sashays around like, oh, those look good though. Oh yeah. Cathar's got pretty darn thick armor, but, uh... Oh, that was so close to an ammo compartment. Come on, baby, you have two and a half minutes, uh... uh to take down this white flare thing. You have two and a half minutes. Keeps missing. Oh, it's, ta it's, it's destroyed these two particle cannons back here. These two in front are fine, though. There's that laser. It's still going. Looks like, uh... Looks like the Star Song is, um, slowed down considerably, though. So you're at 90%. You're at 85%. Ooh, those... Those... Yeesh. Like it's just okay. Yep, that was a good hit. That was also a good hit. It's not quite knocking off that turret though. If that turret, I should really stick ejectors uh, on big turrets like these because it's um. Can you imagine if uh, they had decent ejectors? If they could um. If they could, you, you know, so the, the turret would survive even if one auto loader got destroyed. It wouldn't chain react the whole thing. This would be a very different fight. This would be a very different fight from now. I don't think the Stall Slung would win that. But yeah, knocking off two turrets at once. Jeez, that was... Yeah, I don't know what did that. That was either... That could have been any number of things. Uh, it could have been these kinetic missiles, because in case uh, anyone's wondering, these things are a combination kinetic uh, missiles and EMP missiles, so... Uh, they tend to fry detection, but also they just hit like hammers. Um, they could have uh, just thumped their way through uh, both those turrets. Or I think uh, more likely it's one of those penetrator, these huge uh, penetrator torpedoes that just uh, hit at the right angle to shred both turrets at the same time. Uh, boy. Uh, one minute to go. I think the Cathar is going to win this one, simply because, or maybe not, it depends, miracle might happen. Miracles might happen. Yeah, actually, the Star Slung is losing health, just bit by bit. Yeah, the odd missile that comes through, and the those particle cannon pot shots. Ah, the crams. This is so much a showcase of why, you know, crams are just, uh, just they're just not that good. This. The Cathar is not moving that fast. It's actually lost most of her propellers, uh, so she's only she's gone 30 meters per second, and she's a big target. But the cra these cram cannons are really struggling to hit her. It's a bit of an issue. Although this could be good. No, not good enough. That was uh, this was. Oh, those crams hit like right on the most heavily armored part of this. Just you have double layer of metal and then a huge air gap. And then you have this layer of heavy armor, and then another air gap. So the Cathar, like below the waterline, very, very good armor, if I do say so myself. Probably wouldn't be that good against the uh, Hesh, because uh, there's no spall liner, but yeah, it's like. Um... Actually, why is the. Ah, uh, the Star Sunk's missiles aren't even relevant in here, because uh, these. This is a huge decoy. Literally huge. Oh, there it goes. I'm just gonna. Super professional on me. <laughs> Super professional. Oh, those near misses are driving me crazy. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, that's it. The time's run out. All right, so the Cathar, that's one to the Cathar. Because 80, just barely scraping through. 89% health over there. 84% health. So, we're going to set that up again. Um... If the timer had been longer, so let's see, let's drop this down to 
400,000 materials and see if that makes... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's be consistent. Let's be consistent. That's not fair on the cathode. She won fair and square, that one. Okay. Let's start. Let's go again. Let's do it again. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's have these two titans brawl again. It's interesting that um, the Star Slung went in for the ram. Not a good idea um, for something that actually is... For something that actually has rams on the front of her, because, uh, yeah, these, they're more decorative than anything else, but yeah, if, uh, the Cathar, ra uh, drives into something by accident, um, she's probably gonna come out better than the other guy. So let's, uh, let's see what that opening volley of crams from the Star Slung actually manages to do, because this is critical. This is the critical point right here. Uh, these need to land and do damage, and if they don't... Okay, that is... Okay, Star Slung clearly angry uh, that she got her victory stolen from her. So, immediately... Oh, jeez, that was... That could not have been a better shot. That was amazing. Just right here, right underneath here, and just spraying through here. Just... This is one of the main weaknesses of uh, necklace uh, turret designs like this. Uh, there was even a layer of heavy armor here, around all the critical parts. Uh, may, may, probably should have made this whole thing heavy armor, as a matter of fact, but yeah, that came in at the perfect angle, and um, high-velocity APS probably couldn't have managed that quite as well. Still, they still could have, but yeah, that was flawless. That was flawless scramble. Oh, that, I'm so glad that is now on record for posterity. Um, Oh boy, but uh, looks like uh, the. Uh, ooh, that is painful. Uh, just lost 2% health. What happened here? Oh, okay then. Oh, that was bad. It got hit right in the lambs. Um, that looks like. Where is that? What happened here? There? No, where is it? Aha! Here! Oh, look at this. This is the advantage of. Um, uh, divvying up your ammo storage, you just uh, interlocked uh, with. Uh, you'll notice that there's uh, metal and uh, and uh, heavy armor uh, beams in between each ammo box. That is a very crucial advantage because um, uh, this was definitely one of those huge torpedoes that really made a real mess, and that could have ruptured this whole ammo compartment if it wasn't separated out. So, oh yeah, that was good. That was good. Thankfully, the alarm system isn't that helpful. And okay, yep, what did that do? Uh, probably not too much. Oh, right in the engines. Oh, yeah, the, the... Oh, the snake is angry. The snake is angry with this heretic. And looks like this is going to be a genuine collision. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, okay, well, there goes the torpedoes on the Star Song. Oh, wow. Slow game down. That is why it's handy to have a hollow a snout on your, uh... On the, oh, my goodness, it's just, The Star Song's just gonna keep pushing until this thing can Oh, this is... Not ideal for my frame rate, but this is good for the Star Slung, because if she can just maintain this rage... Rage? Well, maintain the rage, but also the range... Uh, she can... She can essentially just fire point-blank with the crams. And yeah, that'll be... Very no, don't switch target! Don't switch target, babe! Don't switch target, babe! Oh my goodness! I need to see that damage. What's this? Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of the torpedoes are gone. Torpedoes are definitely... What on earth was this? Okay, yeah. Ooh, boy. Alright, so now, Star Slung needs to stay in close, stay in close, and she... Oh, boy. Yep, that's, that's about as point-blank as it gets. <laughs> okay, yeah. Woof! Ooh. That... Ooh, yeah. Oh, that made a hell of a mess. Okay, yeah. Whew! Alright, what what happened in here? Alright, so... 
Okay then. Uh, okay, that's not too bad actually. The armor, the armor held up to that. Yeah. And now the the APS on the Star Song is still intact. So, oh, if they, if this is a golden opportunity to uh, to tear up the the propellers on the rear of the Cathar. Also, I suspect. Yeah, the Cathar just lost uh, half of its roll control, so it might just capsize. Oh, I heard Krems fly. Oh, here they go. Are they gonna... Are they gonna hit, though? Oof, wow. Oh, no, they missed, they missed. Advantage of canoe shape. Now the trick is, is that the... Stalsung just needs to survive uh, those huge torpedoes. Because that's what did uh, both rear turrets last time. It's actually a damn miracle that uh, that uh, penetrator torp just uh, took out like one of the lambs uh, compartments rather than anything else. Also, I mentioned before, uh, these shells are kind of... What are they? They are... If this is a this is a generalizer, so that is a hash secondary heat flak and frag for the time fuse. So it's probably going to just keep scratching the paint until it starts doing real damage. And oh, are these crams gonna do something? Nope, they've overshot. They have overshot completely. All right, so this is uh, looking a lot better for the style slung. She's just got to maintain uh, that HP lead. And that entirely depends on whether she weathers uh, the missiles and the torpedoes uh, well enough. So, yeah, the decoys are doing their job. Decoys are doing an excellent job. Uh, but uh, now the counter torpedoes need to do their thing. Thankfully, the Star Slung has a lot of them. There's one already. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably going to be fine. Well, let's follow it just in case. Because now the Cathar has a tendency... I think the Cathar actually has problems turning. I need to stick actual rudders on her. Assuming um, assuming I'm going to keep updating her. But yeah, it's like... Um, whew. Wow. That, I cannot believe how good that shot was. That opening volley of crams. That was perfect. That was exactly what the Star Sun needed to do to win. She did it. Man, just like... Uh, don't mess with the snick. Do not mess with this danger noodle because uh, she's vindictive. She's uh, she's uh, she's a vengeful Camus. It looks like uh, the um, Cathar does have a resource advantage right now, although that's not huge advantage for her. Um, that's uh, that's kind of because the Star Song uh, kind of got her. Uh, oh boy, the Star Song kind of got um, what what do you call it? The Star Song got an ammo compartment partially damaged, so. There's that APS. The main thing that APS is going to be good for is uh, if it just lands in the right spot, it'll uh, just clip those particle cannons off. So I forget, uh, these particle cannons are set to impact, so they're not doing a huge amount of damage. But they are definitely doing enough. And looks like are these crams gonna be good? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how the Cathar turns. Oh, just whiffed it. Just whiffed it. Oh, Star Slung's taking some damage. She needs to maintain that lead. Looks like some missiles got through. Although the fact that both her rear turrets are still alive. Um, is going to make a bit of a difference here. Oh, near miss, near miss. Oh, and she's, she's got to fry two torpedoes, like, really quickly. Let's just check on these crams. Oh, good hits, good hits. Good hits. Oh, it's, it's, they're getting in there. They are getting in here. Oh, but they need to do a little bit more, because those fragments spread out. And, um... Oh, but they're making a mess, though. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. See, that's the risk, is that the, the Star Slung needs to get close in order for her crams to do the best work, but getting close means 
uh, you gotta you gotta tangle with these torpedoes and uh, the particle cannon. So oh no, this is bad. Though it was damaged enough that it didn't do too much. Whoop! Oh, we gotta catch this. Uh, that's a miss. That is a miss. And straight into the drink. Oh, such a huge difference if the APS uh, stays alive. Ooh, the Cathar is not having a good round. Cathar, this is one of the problems of uh, all or nothing uh, designs like the Cathar, is that it doesn't matter how well you defend that main weapon, which is the main point of the craft. If it does get destroyed, um, that's it. Your craft is a large part of your craft's cost and volume is suddenly useless. Yeah, so I uh, wouldn't actually recommend uh, relying on stuff like the like the Cathar. Um, yeah, like, it's fun to do. It actually works a lot better for a smaller craft. Like, the the Cathar is essentially a scaled-up version of uh, many different kinds of canoes I've made in the past. A lot of which I've not shown on the channel because, well, you know, they're just for fun canoes. It's just, they're easy to make. You stick a gun, build, you build a gun, and you build a canoe around it. It's quite easy. Uh, but, um, but yeah. But yeah, it doesn't work quite so well for larger designs. And this turret does need to be unarmored. Actually, the, it is kind of deliberate. Uh, if the Cathar had missile interceptors or lands or something like that, like anti-cram defense, uh, she'd be a lot more effective because uh, she deliberately does not have that stuff because that's a feature of the White Flayers. This is a White Flayer Im imitator. Oh, yep, looks like... Yep, 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 yep. Back here, looks like... Yep. Yeah, the, the particle cannons are getting clipped off, bit by bit. Those he the Hesh components of that, those APS are quite weak, so... Oh, now, now the resources are even. Oh, the Cathar has about five minutes uh, to uh, even the score a little bit, and she is doing damage, but not enough. And this pattern right here that they're doing it's uh, it's very similar to what they were doing before. And there's more crams. Are they going to be good? Nope, the Cathar is turning. Cathar is turning. These are probably going to miss. This is one of the reasons actually it's a good idea to... Oh, no, they didn't... Oh, wow, that looked important. Oh, that's it! Oh, my, yeah! Oh, 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 that was an ammo compartment. Oh, they, that was a good shot. That was an excellent shot. What's wrong with those? Wow. I spoke way too soon. Oh, yeah, the Star Slunk got a huge... It's got more than a 10% lead. This is epic. Woof! But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to finish uh, working on the Iowa Inspiration and, um... Then have the Star Slime Mark II and her have a good fight. Unless I've done that already. I don't remember if I've done that. I possibly did. I think, uh, the, I think the Iowa Inspiration uh, went up against uh, the original Star Slime, not the Mark II. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, wow. Suddenly the, the Star Slime's got her eye in and she's like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of you. The Cathar has just lost, like, over half of its material storage. Just got, yeah, it looks like both ammo compartments are, are destroyed. Woo, baby! Oh, that's a... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Star Slug's not messing around anymore. Oh, well, she wasn't messing around, like, from the very beginning of the round, she wasn't. But I think that's the last torpedo volley the, Cath the Cathar is going to get off. Because, um, yeah, like, uh, no more ammo. No more ammo. And uh, those uh, those large missiles aren't going to do enough damage piecemeal uh, to make up the difference. Yeah, there goes that huge torpedo. These crams are probably going to miss. Let's see that, actually. Let's see that. Yeah, that whole ammo compartment is gone. And let's see here. So, oh no, oh no, oh. Nope, that's the that's the batteries. Nope, and here's another one. That's it. Yeah, the, ca the Cathar cannot fight anymore. She's got... She, well, no, she's got to rely entirely on the particle cannons now if she wants to make up the difference. She's not going to manage to, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this fight is about as over as you can get. Damn. Yeah, this would be a, quite a different um, experience if uh, 
Yeah, before the missile patch, like before missiles um, uh, got less strong as they got damaged, because it means that the torpedoes fired by the Cathar would do full damage, like uh, guaranteed. And yeah, wow. Oh, the Cathar's only got 99,000 materials left, and she's eating them like crazy just for repairs and for battery power. Wow. Alright, like, looks like there's... Okay, yep, and now the Star Slung's torpedoes. What if our torpedoes are still working? Oh my goodness! She actually... She repaired her bow. <laughs> I was not expecting her to do that. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Oh, and now... Oh, look at this. Yeah, and now all the kinetic missiles are... Well, all the kinetic missiles and... The MP missiles come to play. Yeah, yep. Now, finally, the the Star Slime can bring her full firepower to bear. Because all the damage before was the crams, the APS, and the lasers. But now, oh yeah, yep. Here comes the crams. Here come the kinetic missiles. Here come the torpedoes. Oh yeah. Oh yep. The Cathar is so done. So done. She's just a floating hull now. She's target practice. So, yeah, we're probably going to fast forward through the next two and a half minutes because, uh, yeah, there's, there, there's no coming back from this for the Cathar. Okay, so we've, uh, right, so the, like, the time has run out, and the Cathar is just narrowly avoided being despawned, uh, sitting, uh, very badly wounded at 56.5% health, the Star Slung sitting very pretty at 97.6% health, that was, uh, quite an ass kicking if I do say so. Uh, Cathar is, uh, basically unrecognizable, she's, uh, yeah, lost... Yeah, wow, that opening shot, that opening volley by the stars, like, ooh, oh, gave me the tingles it did. And meanwhile, over here, uh, the Star Song uh, got quite lucky, managed to avoid uh, a lot of the worst uh, of the damage that the uh, Cathar could dish out. It's just scrapes here and there. Think back here. Yeah, I lost a barrel. Lost a barrel over here. Might have lost some gauge increases. Uh, got some uh, blocks knocked off here, there. Narrowly missed. Um, Getting uh, this APS disabled, like, heavy armor is a good thing. Yeah, this laser turret it got hit early, that probably was a missile. Yeah, missile interceptors probably did great work over there. And, uh, yeah, just here, there, and everywhere, just, yeah. This is why armoring your turrets is such an exact science, and if you get it right, if you get it right, it makes a huge difference, just a huge difference. Yeah, you can see these holes. Uh, just all along here, these were uh, probably, what was this, the uh, opening stages of the battle from uh, from the APS, uh, the main gun on the Cathar, but also those penetrator torpedoes. Um, they've got lucky uh, if they've got hit down here, uh, just right here, but uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, okay, that was, th we're now one and one, uh, now we're going to the tiebreaker round, and uh, we'll see which one of these uh, craft is truly the scariest. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I am, uh, I am fizzling over here. I'm bouncing up and down in my seat. I, like, hear that? That's the sound of me bouncing. <laughs> okay, look, so where are our contestants? Here they are. So, Cathar, this is your, this is your last chance. And uh, Star Slung, this is your last chance as well, so... Alrighty, ho then, and fight! I'm so excited. Alright, 
This cram volley. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see if she can make magic happen again. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, that hit that hit too high. That hit too high. It just uh, poked a hole uh, into the upper armor of this turret. Um, narrowly missed taking out a radar a tracker. And yeah, the the armor surrounding uh, these uh, cameras. Managed to hold up. Oh, that's not that's not a good start. Not a good start for the star song. Mostly cosmetic blocks taken off. Let's uh, let's look over here. Let's look over here. Let's see what damage are the uh, the Cathar is doing. Eh, she's poking holes. She's poking holes. Yep. Oh, let's let, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah. So this torpedo. Let's see what happens here. Because this first torpedo is the one that determines a lot of what happens. Oh, yep, that's a, oh, that's a good shot. Oh, wow, yeah, that, uh... Ooh, baby. Woof. Okay, then, well, that was very narrow. It did, it took a chunk out of, uh... Yeah, look at that. It took a chunk out of that turret, but it narrowly, narrowly missed. Hitting much more important stuff. And yeah, it looks like they're gonna collide again. Uh, the Star Slung is settling into a left broadside as opposed to a right. Oopsie daisy! Ooh, yeah, and history repeats itself. There goes the main gun on the Cathar. She was not designed to go up against things with heavy penetration crams. Definitely. Oh, and it's fallen off already. Okay, the, um. Uh, the Star Slung is now has a 17% uh, lead. Cathar has slowed down, and they're going to ram again. Ooh, slow the game down quickly. Whoop, and the Cathar is going to take the worst of it. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Needed more rubber there. Okay. Oof. All right, now they're... Oh, boy. Hopefully this doesn't crash the game. Oh, wow. Yep. Oof. Oh, yeah, this is not looking good for the Cathar. This is not looking good for the Cathar at all. Once again, like, the Star Slung's not designed to do this, by the way. She's not designed to ram, so... Yeah, whoo, man. Now, she ain't a cow. She, she, she ain't a Camus. She ain't a cow. She's a bull. She charges. I should, I might as, uh, you know what I should do, I should stick rams on the front of the Star Slung and just make her broadside range a lot closer. Because she is a cram battleship, she's meant to, she's a brawler, really, she's meant to get in close. She's meant to get in close, get in dirty, and um, throw, you know, throw big hooks, so to speak. Also, she can fire torpedoes directly into the Cathar's hull at this point, and that's hilarious. Uh oh, uh, boy. Ooh. Ooh boy, this is laggy. This is bad. Ooh boy. Ooh. Although if the Cathar keeps uh, chucking uh, missiles like this, oh wait, nope, oh, oh. Yeah, those are. What are those gonna hit? It's straight out of that spaced armor, but let's see what happens. Oh, significant explosions. That might have been... Yep, that might have been straight in an ammo compartment. Oh no, that was an engine. That was the engine. Yeah, this is in a much better position for the Star Slung than it is for the Cathar. Ooh, I'm sweating. Both because it's humid, but also because, my goodness. This is a fight. This is a battle. Looks like, um, if the Cathar can just pull away, ooh boy, ooh boy, ooh boy and girl, ooh baby. Okay, we're speeding up now. They actually might be stuck on each other. Okay, not quite, not quite. Because they're both trying to maintain a broadside, the... Yeah, the Cathar is pulling away, slowly but surely. You can just see how much wider she is than the Star Slung. And yes, I know, Star Slung is a sex joke in Afrikaans. I didn't know that. I'm not fluent in Afrikaans. I used Google Translate, so you should blame Google. 
You should absolutely blame Google. Oh, I really hope the Star Slime doesn't shoot herself. Also, these large torpedoes over here. Uh, they could be a problem. Assuming they manage to turn around in time. They might not be able to. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, the lag, the lag is real. Uh, yeah, they we're probably not gonna be... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like the Cathar is pulling away. Well, no, she's... Okay, the Cathar is not actually helping because she's turning into the Star Slung. And we might have just crashed. No, we didn't. Let's slow this as far down as we can. We really need to do that. Ooh, man. How you do? How are you enjoying the slideshow, lads? Ooh, baby. I'm scared to move the camera in case we mess things up a bit. Ooh, this is agony. Might I might skip ahead to the point where they manage to separate. But, uh, oh no, they're not separating this stupid Cathar. <laughs> the damn Cathar can't turn very well, so she's uh, continually turning into the Star Slung. You can tell by the, by, not sure if you can see, but the Azapods on the Cathar uh, they're turning, uh, they're turning to the left, which is pushing her to the right. So it's really up to the Star Slung to break the stalemate, so to speak. Or they could end up turning and rubbing against each other a lot, and uh, that will crash the game for sure, for absolutely sure. Yeah, if this goes on too long, uh, I might just call it uh, in the Star Slung's favor right now. Though she might be able to shoot out the engines completely and make it so the Cathar can't even move. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh lordy. Oof. When Titans clash, uh, there will be lag. Oof. Promising, promising, promising. Are you getting unstuck? Are you getting unstuck, me girls? Come on, you gotta. See, both of these ships are now too close to use missiles effectively, because they're vertical launch, which means uh, the, the angle's too tight. They're gonna end up in the ocean. I think, um... Actually, both... Oh, 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 those torpedoes are looking mighty unfriendly. Are those the same torpedoes fired what feels like years ago? Okay, we're getting we're getting some more frames. We are getting some more frames. This is good. This is good. This is excellent. Oh, pop, 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 pop! I'm Gungan style. Oh, this torpedo is looking mighty unfriendly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, baby. Oh, that looks like oh, looks like she's gonna be hitting just too low to do serious damage. Let's see what that what did that do? Oh, Star Slung, luck of the Irish snakes. Um they just missed. That those fragments could have done serious damage. What's around here? Yeah, that's right under that APS turret. And looks like the return fire over here has um I can't tell because of the muzzle flash. Jeez. That was right in the engine compartment again. Yep. That's uh, making that's making a wee bit of a mess, just a little bit. Yeah, but it looks like um, they're now settling away now, being a little bit more steady, being a little bit more steady. Okay, all right, girls, I want a nice clean fight now. No nope, lag starting again. Lag is definitely starting again. Also, the Star Slung is now shooting itself with its laser, so that's less than ideal. That is um, not an ideal situation. Oh boy! Just looking at the timer here, like uh, if this lag goes for like you know another few minutes, I am okay. There's serious block spillage happening here. See, at this rate, what's going to happen is that the Star Sun's going to bury herself in the Cathar's hull. And it's like, well, now what? Mm. 
Snake penetrates, uh, penetrates heretic. Not safe for work. Instant demonetization. I apologize for that joke. And you know what's worse? Oh no, freaking that that stupid laser is sawing off the cram barrels. Not that accuracy matters too much at this range, but Deacon's Christmas. You said better fail safes on that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh the grindy, 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 grindy crew. Oh yep, it's, uh, I'm giving this uh, six more minutes uh, for these two to unstick themselves, and then I'm just going to call it in favor of the star sun. The damn Cathar has no actual survival instinct, and um, it's just continuously turning into the star slot. So, less than ideal, less than ideal. But man, it's like, oof, the star song wanted this. She wanted the victory. She, she, okay, the first round made her mad, clearly. She, she was a, she was a big angry snake lady. She was a big angry cowgirl. She is big. I've actually drawn the ship girl of the Star Slime Mark II. It's, um... Wait, what did I do with that? I shared it on the YouTube community page and, um... And on Twitter, I believe. Yes, I have a Twitter. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. Occasionally I do stuff. But yeah, it's like, um... That is, uh... Drew that for the exact same reason I drew... Uh, ship girl of the original Star Slime, is that I was terrified that someone else would do it first and cock it up. Um... I don't know, that's probably being slightly too possessive of intellectual property, but meh. Can you even call it intellectual property? Ah, oh, damn, that la that laser! Hello! Fail safes, do you know what they are? Don't shoot yourself. Self-harm is not funny. Seek help. There, there are services available out there to help you not laser yourself in the gun turrets. Call 0800 Light Burns today if you have laser burn injuries that are self-inflicted. I literally just said that self-harm is no laughing matter, and what do I do? I make jokes about self-harm. Like, very classy, border-wise. If the whole snake-penetrating heretic thing didn't get you demonetized, oh, that definitely will. You... You shocking person, you. You... You absolute... Terrible person. I'm clearly getting bored with the slideshow right now, so... Yeah... You know what? I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna call it here. Sorry to disappoint, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but this is, this is gonna take so long. Uh, the uh, Star Song is clearly out for blood. And um, it's hinted to me very strongly that I should stick rams on her because she apparently likes to do this. The Cathar has literally been decapitated and is being pushed around and bullied. So clearly the Star Slung was dominating this fight. Uh, as per UFC point rules, I am going to uh, give this to the Star Slung. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the Star Slung definitely wins. Like. Um, uh, first round was a little bit unlucky for her because she lost uh, the two the two rear turrets at once to a single absolutely beautiful frag torpedo strike. But um, uh, round two, instant, uh, instantly shutting down the Cathar's main gun, and round three, uh, doing the same, and just generally bullying the Cathar in both round two and round three. Uh, difference being in round three, they kind of got stuck on each other. Uh, realized that they were in love and just wanted to keep, you know, keep hugging each other. Wow. Uh, post links to your fanfic in the comments below, except please don't do that because nobody wants to read them, especially not me. So on that crazy note, um, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Definitely need to finish uh, giving the Iowa inspiration a spruce up so the Stahl Slung can have another, another worthy opponent to go up against. Farewell!